Okay, the idea behind describing trends and variations is that we have uh, the trend line, so we can see that over the long term, values here are rising. Uh, variation describes the pattern that the individual data points uh, fall in. They're obviously going to be either side of the trend line, but what kind of patterns do we see? So uh, when you're describing a trend, you're talking about the line. When you're talking about variations, you're talking about the pattern of X's on either side of the line. Now, this diagram here is what we kind of see when um, we haven't yet used moving averages because we can see that we have got each set of four points is forming the same pattern. The overall trend is upwards, but we have a seasonal pattern and we would use moving averages to actually find out the trend and, and that will give us a new set of X's for the moving averages that would actually probably be pretty much exactly on the line in this case. Okay, um, so this, this kind of variation is called seasonal variation because it's a repeating pattern. So we can put seasonal uh, variation, okay, uh, on an upward, so it's either going to be upward or downward here, okay, and then we have to decide whether the trend is linear or not. Now when you're uh, invited to mark the trend on, you will always be drawing on with a ruler uh, a trend line uh, by eye, but sometimes that isn't appropriate. Okay, and you might be asked to comment on trends that other people have drawn, which might not be straight lines. But in this case, because it's a straight line trend, that seems to work quite well. We say it's an upward linear trend. Okay, so the upward linear trend is because the line is going up. Seasonal variation because we've got a regular cycle of patterns with um, uh, crosses above and below the line. Okay, so. Uh, Seasonal variation we've seen earlier we can deal with via moving averages. Okay, but sometimes you do the moving averages and you still see variation on the trend because life isn't perfect. So on this uh, one here, okay, I've got a downward trend, but for various reasons some of my moving averages are above and below the line. Okay, that just happens, that's just life. So this is um, what we call random variation. We don't know the reasons and there aren't any particularly obvious patterns in terms of these variations. So we have one word to describe the variation. So it could be seasonal, it could be random. The third word, which we'll come to later, is short term. So um, they are listed here. Okay, we have got seasonal, random, short term variations. Okay, and the underlying trend could be upward or downward, and it could be linear or nonlinear. So in this case, we've got um, random variation on what sort of trend have we got? Well, it's downward and it's linear. So these three words, random variation on a downward linear trend. So these three words in capitals are the ones that change and the other words stay the same. So this kind of interpretation, if you learn this template, is fine. We just vary the words we put in. So what words are we going to vary here? Well, okay, this is a different case, all right? Here, we couldn't really account for the crosses being one side or the other, but here we notice that there's there's something going on that, that they don't suddenly leap to the other side of the line. Okay, um, for some reason for this time period here, there was a reason why all of the actual values were above trend, and here there's a reason why they're below trend. We don't know what the, those reasons are. After a while, it changes over. So this is we call these short-term variations. For some reason, for this short period of time, there was a reason why the actual outcomes were above trend and then it went the other way. We, get, we don't know why, but we can see there's a reason for it. We can see it's a smooth curve of X's rather than just a scatter of X's on either side of the line. So we describe this as random variation. This is called short-term variation. Okay, We think there's a definite reason for crosses being this side and there's a definite reason for crosses being this side here. Okay, So the, the sentence is word describing the variation is short term and words decide, de describing the trend where well, it's still a, a line but at this time it's an upward linear trend and we're done on that one okay and one more to do here all right okay here we have a different kind of trend this is not a linear trend but this is a uh, downward non-linear trend so we've got to describe the kind of variation. Well, it's not a regular pattern, so it's not seasonal. It's not a smooth pattern of crosses, gently going from one side for a bit and then the other side. It's just a scatter of crosses. So this is random variation again. 
So that's what random variation looks like. This is random variation. This is short-term variation. And the one that is the regular pattern, okay, which we can iron out using moving, moving averages, this is seasonal variation. So learn the templates, okay? Random, short-term, or seasonal, and then variation on a, and then upward or downward, linear or non-linear, and the word trend at the end. And that's what your interpretation looks like every time.